stop you. You did not save anybody, outcast. You can't send any more of us back. Keeping the characters fresh, keeping the possessions fresh, keeping the exorcisms fresh is something that we talk about a lot. And what we landed on very early is that every possession is as unique as, as individual as the character themselves. I know you, Kyle Barnes. You can't suddenly say, well, I'm tired of the way the enemies look, or Kyle always seems to do it the same way every time. So let's just do it different, because it violates then the internal logic of the show, and frankly, betrayal to your audience. Kyle Barnes isn't here to save you. That said, it's a challenge to the writing staff to find ways to keep it fresh. It forces us to dig deeper. Every one of them feels a little bit different. That kingdom come, that will be done. It's very important that we make sure that these are the moments of real terror in the show and that uh, they are really scary and really unnerving. So there's a lot of planning, a lot of preparation. My most fun times on the set has been the possession scenes, which are the most difficult. They look great, uh, you know, on camera, but when you're shooting them, it's painfully slow because it has to be done in such a way. Philip and I say, why can't someone be possessed at 10 o'clock in the morning so we can then have a scene of us drinking martinis? It's great to see them go, oh, hey, we found this idea over here that totally could have been in your comic book, but isn't. It's something new. And that's what keeps me excited and engaged for the television show.